Then what well, you discover is if, if this pathway gets cut off, if you cannot move, if you cannot take action, it takes a different pathway and the impulse goes to the central nucleus of the amygdala. The central nucleus of the amygdala secretes the stress hormones related with fear and terror, but it's dissociated, namely not attached to making movements. And so if it goes that particular route and you get exposed to something that's threatening but you cannot move, then all you do is secrete stress hormones that make you feel terrified, anxious, upset, shut down, and that becomes a conditioned response that leads to a chronic sense of freezing, helplessness and despondency. The implications of this are very important. Namely, what this shows is that traumatized people, if they can, need to learn to move in response to things that previously made them feel paralyzed. Uh, so, one of the things that I really advocate and that we do in the various treatments that we are involved with is we like people to be exposed to quite scary and difficult stuff, but then to take action to make them feel competent and powerful. Uh, like right now, uh, we are consulting to the Japanese social welfare system and they wanted to learn about cognitive behavioral treatment and all this stuff that's been developed in America. And I say to them, no, don't come to us because right in your culture, you have developed all this martial arts stuff. And you, like, like we, you're also a crazy culture. You always also invade other countries and think you're better than other countries. And, and you also get licked by other countries just like we do. And people come home and they feel terrible and they feel frozen and feel upset. But rather than developing cognitive treatments back there in Japan, you guys develop martial arts to help these wounded soldiers to regain a sense of power and control. And if we really take the lessons from neuroscience seriously, those are the sort of programs we need to do with traumatized people to help them to move their bodies in a way where they couldn't move their bodies before.